Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today is part one, part un of the Oculus Quest Home Tour newly redesigned user interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K and welcome to this eight part mini series special kind of series where I take you through a guided tour of the newly redesigned home in the Oculus Quest because everything is new. So today we're going to explore how to see the battery life left, also how to change your avatar as well as how to download the new updates because this is pretty important. But through the other series which will be rolled out throughout the next few days, you'll be able to get to see all the other stuff and I'll give you some inside little easter eggs and tricks and tips here that I learned through doing these kind of videos and going through the home tour. All right, let's begin the countdown. All right, so if you're new to Oculus, basically they released version 16 and what you see right now is completely new to us. So for those who have been in Oculus Quest for a little while, we have to adapt to this change. But for you, if you're brand new to Oculus Quest and you just opened it up and turned it on, then basically this would be your first experience. But for us, it's a second experience. So let's go through things step by step and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks as to how to get familiar a bit more easily with the new setup. And I'll also show you, compare it to the old setup later on in the video as well. So first things first. The first thing that you need to know, of course, when you are inside the Oculus Quest is how much battery you have left. So on the left hand side, under the clock here, and also under the Wi-Fi strength connection here, you will see your touch controllers and also your headset icon. So all you do is you mouse over and it will tell you exactly, you can also click with your trigger, it will tell you exactly how much percentage you have left. Now this is new because before uh, it only gave us the little points and uh, we didn't know actually how much percentage exactly there was left. So it's great that Oculus had brought this back. The next thing is to know how to upgrade your Oculus Quest and download the new firmwares. So what you do is you go on the other side where you see the wheel and this will be your settings. So you just click on it with your trigger, it will open up the pop-up and then with your left or your right joystick or your thumb, uh, you can go up and down and basically it will scroll up and down for you. So what you do is you go to about and then up here you will see it says software update. Now at the moment it says no updates available because we have running version 16.0 which is the brand new version of Oculus Quest with the new user interface. However, all you have to do to update is you click on download. You will see a button will say download. You let it say you let it download for maybe 5 minutes. And you need to make sure that your headset is plugged in also with a charger. Uh, and after five minutes, all you have to do is restart your Oculus Quest. And as it restarts, it will then download the actual update. So don't leave your Quest on for hours and hours waiting for the wheel to stop turning. No, 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 no. Just wait five minutes, then manually click restart and it will basically bootstrap the download straight away. Before I share with you the last tips of this Oculus Quest home guided tour video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about the unboxing of the DPVR P1 Pro 4K. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. So the other thing is if you want to change your guardian on the fly, you just click on the wheel setting also and you'll see guardian here. So all you do is click on here and boom, create guardian boundaries. So you just choose stationary or room scale. And then, so if we just choose stationary, you can see my flats here. I just click confirm and then there we go. We're back again. So if you want to change your guardian on the fly, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you found it useful. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in virtual reality because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Also remember to hit the bell so that you get notified when part two and the other videos get uploaded as I publish them. So until next time, high five to you, take it easy and as always, DJ, take it away.